All right, guys, real quick. I just wanted to go over the 216 piece Craftsman socket set. Uh, it comes in this uh, Versa stack box. Um, it's got all your drives, your three eighths, quarter inch, half inch. Um, just go over the box a little bit. Uh, it, it's compatible with the Craftsman Versa stack system and also the DeWalt T-Stack uh, system. Um, I just got this today. Um, got this for 99 bucks from, from Lowe's. Um, it was a special. I think this usually runs about 150. Um, I think on, I think Amazon has it for like 179 right now. Um, got this for nine, for like I said, for 99 bucks, um, which is about as, as low as I see these sorts of boxes go. Now you can get the sockets and the, uh, you can get the sockets in the drives for less than that. Of course, we you know it comes in the big bags and you pretty much have to have your own sort of organizer. I think I've seen those as low as 55, but like I said, you don't have any sort of organization. They just kind of come in these bags and they say, here you go. Now, now you got to make something up. Um, uh, let's take a look at this, the front of the box. We've got, um, I don't know why they did it in this order instead of doing, you know, it's ascending order, but, or even descending order. They just chose to put the quarter drop, quarter inch in the middle. Not sure why. Um, it kind of tells you what's in each drawer. It's nice. Um, you know, this one you got some mostly six points in your three eighths um, drive with a, a spark plug uh, socket. Uh, this has, I think, mostly six point as well in the quarter inch. And it's got some more of your bits and stuff in it. And we'll open the drawers up in just a second and take a look. Your half inch has, I think, mostly 12 point sockets. I'm not sure why they didn't do all six point or all 12 point and why they mixed it up. Um, and it also has your open end and box end wrenches. Um, or maybe they're just all open end. I haven't looked at them yet. Um, I like that uh, these boxes don't open. It's got these little tabs on the sides. You just kind of pull this little tab, and push this little tab, and it just slides right open. So this is the three eighths inch drawer here. Um, looks like it goes all the way up to five sixteenths on the standard. And then looks like maybe 21 inch on the metric side. Uh, let's see, uh, obviously they don't go as big in the metric for some reason. Um, and then up here, of course, in the middle, you've got your, your deep sockets. Um, and this drawer goes back forever. And here you've got your flex your flexible adapter, and then you've got your spark, your spark plug um, sockets up here, which is nice. Um, I like the way this is laid out. I like how some of your your sockets, you know, you're, you know, maybe you're doing something in a hurry or you're by yourself, you know, you need to look, you need to be able to open this drawer up, look real quick and look down, boom. You see all of your sizes are listed right here and raised plastic, um, you know, May not be the most fashionable thing, but it's functional. And sometimes people like, you know, functional over, over form, I guess. Um, let's see, you know, sometimes if your sockets are laying down like this, you know, you don't know what exactly it is. Sometimes you, you know, you gotta keep rotating them, you know, uh, or whenever you put them, you know, even when, if you do this before you close everything up, by the time you get to where you're going, you've got to, they're all turned back around anyway. Um, comes with a nice like, six inch, extension that's nice and there's your three inch down here sit somewhere on top of the other uh one on top of the other i like how that they condensed that let's open the quarter wrench this is where you got some of your filler stuff at again I, I don't mind the filler all that much but like i said this drawer goes back forever here you've got your nice i'm afraid to leave this open see the grip on this you know it, it's not too soft um, it was firm, um, you know, something, you know, you're gripping on, you not to worry about it tearing up. you got all your drives that you can use at the tip of this, or, you know, if you're in a pinch and you need something for your drill, there you go. It's probably not the most, they're probably not the most durable bits. So I wouldn't use them long-term in a, in, in a drill or an impact. Um, again, this is your, these are 72 teeth. Should have mentioned that to begin with. Um, it's, it's smooth. Um, 
don't have any problems with it. All right, sorry for the weird cut. Um, anyway, let's open this four inch dry back up. So you got some fillers, you got some bits. I talked about those. You've got your Allen keys. Um, these are gonna be your metrics. Um, these are gonna be your standard, of course, color coded, so that's nice. Again, you got a flexible head right here. You got a, uh, I guess, a, uh, an adapter. Sorry, I don't know why I can't speak. Again, these are all raised the letters or your shallow sockets. I mean, raised raise numbers, excuse me. Um, let's open the half inch drive drawer. Here in the back in the bags, we've got your, of course, you know, they are opening and boxing. Um, metric and standard i got a good variety right there there's no real um definite spot for these other than they're not separated in any way other than just being metric and standard um it's a pretty beefy heavy heavy ratchet that's for sure it's kind of on the short end um anyway uh then you got of course you got your extension they don't come with the shorter extension like some of the boxes do but you do have a six inch um, let's talk about the box. Now, like I said, this is, oh, uh, and here on the sides, you've got room, um, to add some of the Versa stack, I guess, bit holder boxes. It's got a couple little tabs. You can kind of put stuff in here, make it look nice. Kind of carry it around on your rolling box system, your Versa stack or T stack system. Um, this box is not very big. It's so compact that when you pick it up, man, it's not heavy at all. I mean, it's heavy, don't get me wrong. It's probably 30 pounds, but it doesn't feel like it's 30 pounds, especially when you compare it to this behemoth. This is the 216, or excuse me, this is the 200 piece Husky uh, toolbox. Um, this has, you know, ball bearing drawers and they lock in place. I don't know how durable these tabs are, but they don't unlock unless you open the box. So if it's like this, it won't open. You have to be completely open for the box to open. And they really, they operates really, really smooth. We'll say that for sure. Um, matter of fact, let's compare the, let's compare the, the three eighths of the ratchet to the Husky three eighths inch ratchet. Now, so they're the same size, same drive, but the Husky is a little bit longer. It's got a, the rounded, you know, your classic rounded handle. Fits pretty good in your hand. The Craftsman one, it fits good in your hand too, just in a different way. Um, let's look at the heads. And this is the Husky, this is the Craftsman. Still got the pin detent, you know, quick release. Nothing's changed about that. That's the same. These little, this little select forward and reverse selector are on and off. That's the Craftsman and the Husky. The Husky does feel a little bit more positive. I will say whenever you're selecting, you know, left or right, this feels this feels a little more of a loosey-goosey. This one right here, you can definitely, it just kind of snaps into place a little bit more. Um, but this box here is enormous. It is so heavy. It feels like it's 10 pounds heavier than that Craftsman set. Now, I'll grant the Craftsman set, even with the Craftsman set having extra pieces, you know, 200 piece versus 216 piece, this box is huge. I will say it is nice. The metal box is nice. Um, it doesn't attach to anything. Um, it's definitely more narrow than the T-Stack, or excuse me, than the Versa Stack box. Um, but, but it's a heck of a lot taller. Um, again, once these, I don't like the locking feature on it. Never had to use it, but I guess if, if I was in a situation where I needed to, I could put a lock on it, a little small padlock. That way you can't open these drawers if you can't open this lid and you can't open the lid if there's a lock on it. 
So now you can open the drawers. But I will say you have to make sure that you close it because if you don't and you try to put this down and you go to pick pick this up, your drawers are just going to slide fly open. That's another thing I like about these with the locking drawers. You can move them around. You can kind of sling them around. You know, getting in and out of the truck, in and out of the bed, unloading them, loading them, whatever you gotta do. And you don't have to worry about these drawers popping open as long as you, you know, make sure they're secure and closed. Um, I don't see anything wrong with these drawers here. Actually, it's just a plastic, a plastic drawer. There's no real rolling mechanism. You see, these have the ball bearing drawers. It's real smooth. Yeah, they're real sturdy. And then it's got a little spring or some sort of mechanism back there that locks the locks the top of the box. But really, this video is about this Craftsman. I was just doing some comparisons. All of the sockets, excuse me, all of the ratchets are going to be longer on the Husky. Um, gives me give you a little more leverage. Um, I right, appreciate the watch. Give me a like, comment.